Hello traders everywhere, Adam Hewison here coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club and today we're going to be looking at two very interesting markets. One is Amazon, of course, we looked at that before, and also the Washington Post. So what's the connection? Well, on Monday, Jeff Bezos, who is the founder of Amazon, just anted up $250 million to buy the Washington Post newspaper. Why would he do that? Well, let's take a look at the shares of the Washington Post. Go there with a chart. You can see we have three trade triangles that are green, very positive sign. And this is the chart of this is the chart of the Washington Post, symbol WPO. And you can see from the beginning of the year, it's really just gone higher, 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 higher. So it got us thinking, let's take a bigger picture of the Washington Post, the max we've got. And you can see previously, it's really up until the end of 2012, this market has gone nowhere. And suddenly, boom, the market starts going up. Why? That's the question. Why was it going up? Well, let's take a closer look. And this is just my observation. It's no, we're not accusing anybody of doing anything, but this is my take on it. So let's just close this up to the year to date. So there we are going up. So if you're Jeff Bezos and you're thinking of buying this company, or you're really kind of negotiating with the company to be bored. And you know that the float, the shares outstanding, the public float is 6 million shares, 6.06 .06 shares. Well, what if you bought accumulate a million shares over the period of time. Admittedly, they don't trade a lot of shares. So, but if you bought maybe 2,000, 3,000 shares every couple of days, it would soon add up. Then you could potentially, and let's say over the course of time, you accumulate, let's say a modest 500,000 shares, easily to do. And let's say you make $100 profit on that, which could be easily, you could buy up until this point, pretty much 480, and you would have made a hundred dollars profit. That gives you a fifty million dollar discount because you know you're going to buy the Washington Post. So instead of paying two hundred and fifty, you only pay two hundred million dollars because you've just made fifty million dollars in the stock. Maybe that's what would be the case. But the reality is, we didn't have any inside knowledge. We only go with our trade triangles. But look at what our trade triangles had to say about WPO. So we put on our monthly trade triangles. Boom. Well, where is that? So we go back just a little bit. And there it is, right there on the 30th of November. So if something was happening, I would suggest back then, somebody had some inside knowledge of this transaction. So we put our weeklies in, and you can see we've had some nice weekly trades here, nice buy here at 376, out at 433. Another buy coming in here, the last one is on May 3rd, at 452, so that's a hundred, basically 150 dollars practically profit. So we're only saying 100 dollars. So I think this has worked out very, very well. So let me show you first how you trade with the trade triangles, and then I'll show you the trade triangle results for the WPO, Washington Post, since the beginning of the year. So as promised, here are the rules for the trade triangles when you trade stocks. First of all, the most important rules are the monthly trade triangles. They determine the major trend, whether it's up, that would be a green triangle, or whether it's down, that would be a red triangle. We couple that with the weekly trade triangles. So we use the monthly trade triangles to determine trend, then we use the weekly trade triangles for entry and exit signals. And how that works, if the trend is down, then we only use a green weekly trade triangle to get out of a position. Conversely, if the trend is up, we'd only use a red weekly trade triangle to exit that position. All new positions are put on when the colors combine in the two trade triangles. That's it. Pretty easy, huh? So let's take a look at how we did this year trading WPO. Now this is just following the trade triangles, nothing more, no inside knowledge of anything. But you can see our first position was taken on the 7th of January at 376.66. We then exited that position on a red weekly trade triangle. Remember we showed you all the rules how to do this on the 8th of April at 433.78 for a gain of $57.12 per share. We were then out of the market for almost a month. We didn't re-enter until we had a green weekly trade triangle and that came on May 3rd at 4.52. Now, as of this morning, the market opened on the 7th of August 
at 583. This is an open gain profit of 131. So combining those numbers, it gives us a total profit or open profit of $188.12 a share. Not too bad on two trades. Think about it. No inside knowledge, just following the trade triangles. And this happens time and time again. The trade triangles make it easier for you to spot the big trends and see what the big money is doing, but don't want you to know about it. Hey, I'm Adam Hewison. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this little lesson on the Washington Post. You can find Adam Hewison as a regular contributor on Bloomberg, Business News Network, CNBC, and Fox Business News.